One of the places the Jewish people passed through on their travels in the desert was called Pihachirot. And there's a commentary that translates this name to mean Pi is a mouth, Hachirot is free. They explained that this was actually a place of idol worship, where people were allowed to say whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted to. This is the power of speech. From the first days of creation, God indicated that words are powerful. He created the universe using words, the ten utterances. And we have the ability of destroying the world using speech as well. It could be a sign of negativity and idol worship. Now, freedom of speech is something that we talk about all the time in the new world of democracy and freedom. But is freedom of speech always good? Is it always positive? Or can it also be negative? If we just say what we want and we don't filter, we don't process, we don't think through it, it could be harmful, it could be damaging, it could destroy. And so the Mishnah that says in Pekah Avot, Siag Lachachmash Tika, at the prerequisite of wisdom, is actually silence. Is the Mishnah indicating or negating freedom of speech? I don't think so. What the Mishnah is teaching us is that freedom of speech isn't always good. Freedom of speech could be negative as well. When we say what we want, without faltering, it could be extremely harmful and destroy people. And so we've got the choice. We've got the choice to, to, to decide what to do with our speech. The freedom of speech. To guide it in the positive direction or guide it in the negative direction. Let's make sure that we make the right choice. And we change the world for good using the power of speech. Shabbat Shalom.